Hi, I'm Diana Magnin. I'm your Division Specialty Educator for Pediatrics, and today we're going to talk about using stop counts to deliver rapid fluid boluses to your pediatric patients. I've gathered the supplies that you will need for rapid fluid administration for IV boluses for your pediatric patient. You will need your IV fluid, either normal saline or ringers, uh, attached to a primary set, and that needs to be primed. You'll see here, obviously, you have your stopcock, a T connector, which will be connected to your patient, um, any cleansing uh, device or, or tools that you will use to clean the hubs, and also syringes. Now, we typically use larger syringes, maybe a 40, uh, 50, or 60 cc syringe for our larger children. For infants and smaller children, we might use a smaller syringe, but these are the supplies that you will need to deliver rapid IV fluid bolus. So now you're ready to connect your IV fluids once the line has been primed to your stopcock. Now this is a typical stopcock. You have three openings to the stopcock. This end here, which is a female opening, will be actually the end that you will plug in your IV fluid line to. The opposite side is the male opening, and that's the one that you'll connect to your T connector that's connected to your patient. This port here is where we would attach our syringe so that we can withdraw and administer our fluids. So I would carefully take off the cap from the IV tubing, remove the cap from the stopcock, and connect the stopcock and, uh, and the IV tubing. As I said, this end is the one that's connected to the patient, so I would properly cleanse uh, the hub, make sure I allow it to dry, and then take the, hub, take the uh, cap off this, connect it, and securely fasten it. Now this is a direct line into the patient with our IV fluids, but what we're gonna do now is we're going to attach an appropriate size syringe uh, that will help us deliver the, an accurate amount of fluid bolus to this patient. And this is the port that we would use. We un unscrew this. Typically with a larger child, we would use a syringe that is either a 50 or a 60 cc syringe that will be connected directly here. For our smaller children or our infants, we may use a syringe that's smaller, which enables us to deliver again the appropriate amount of IV fluid and be able to keep track of it uh, as we're administering and documenting. Now remember, when working with the stopcock, whichever end this long tail of the stopcock is pointed towards, that's the end that's closed off. So this, the way it's positioned now, the fluid, IV fluid line is open to the syringe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it turned off to my patient. I'm going to withdraw the appropriate amount of fluid. Maybe with this patient I'm going to deliver a 10 cc bolus, so I'll pull it up to about 10 cc's. I will then turn the stopcock off to the IV line, which now opens the line from the syringe to the patient, and I can deliver my fluid bolus. If I need another 10 cc syringe, once this is delivered, I turn it off again to the patient, withdraw the appropriate amount of IV fluids, turn it off to the IV fluid bag, and deliver my fluid bolus.